Hi everybody, it's Jamie. So um, I had somebody ask me if I would do a whip and chat. So here we go. I, ha I don't do anything fancy. Like I don't have any cool tricks or anything. Um, this is the first time I've worked on this painting since I posted that video that gave you guys the update. So I really haven't been working on anything. Um, I've been sewing a lot actually. Um, let me get this be situated here. There we go. So, yeah. Like I said, I haven't been working on this painting per se. Um, I haven't really been working on any painting per se. I'm just kind of... Everything's up in the air right now. Um, these are my little containers that I have everything set up into. Um, my mother numbered them, so um, I haven't put labels on these, but I think mommy's going to give these to me because I'm a spoiled brat. Um, basically, I am. Um, if I want to, she said I could have them. Um, but um, sooner or later, these numbers are probably going to come off. And then I love using the Ever Moment stickers to put on these um, and label them, and then I put the symbol at the end. Um, so... Either she's going to give me her set or she's going to give me a new set. She said that she would see how much they were still. Um, but basically, I'm using my numbers and this key. Um, 23, somewhere right there. I don't know if that's upside down. I don't even know if this was set up. Well, it would be because this is the bottom of my phone. So, I'm working on number 23 right there. This little weird uh, up arrow thing so let's get to it um i've been working on this one for a while now um i got really tired from diamond painting period um that's why i ended up getting my uh getting a new sewing machine and started sewing for a little bit um I try to find my cross stitch because I cross stitch too. I'm a very, very, um, person. I like, I love doing crafts. So, um, that's my cup of tea. It's just all sorts of different crafts and stuff. And, um, I just kind of got tired of this. So I did some sewing and, um, yeah. And this bottom, why I'm holding it, is because I am off of my table. I'm in this little tray area thing that's down here. So it moves a lot, so I have to kind of hold it. But I can't move my painting up anymore because of where my light sits. Which for my next painting, I'm actually going to move my light over. Um, and move these down because these are, my trays over here are stuck to my table. So I'm going to move them down so I can move my light that way. <laughs> you guys are attached to my light, by the way. That's why you get the new scene. If you like this view better than having you guys in front of me, well, let me know. I will keep this view. Um, I like this view. Um, just because you're not sitting right in front of me and I have to angle you down and you have the chances of falling. Now you're just sitting straight. Um, if you want me to rotate it, make it sideways or straight, I, I don't know how guys want it. Let me know. I need some feedback on the placement of where I put everything at because I don't know where to put it at. <laughs> like my camera, I don't know where to put it at. Um, my light, you are actually on my light. My light is right, right here. Um, and you guys are right there. <laughs> you guys are attached to my light. Um, today anyways. Oh, um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Um, so I ordered a custom, um, from Evermoment. This is the second time this has happened to me, but I don't know if they don't like, because my physical address is different than my mailing address. And I mean, it's different by like, I have a rural mailbox, so I have a rural address and then my physical address is not the same city. So um, it, it's just, it's been a hassle because they contacted me and they were like, 
hey, you can't find your address. And I was like, um, have had diamond paintings. And I've had ever moment diamond paintings delivered here before. Custom ever moments. Um, and the ever moment lady said since it's so big, they have to use like this express shipping. Um, because it is so massive. Um, I don't know if I will get a container for this one, to be honest with you guys. I, I really just don't know. Um, because it is, I mean, I, it's, I asked every moment, I'm like, what is the biggest you do? The biggest diamond painting you guys make? And they said that they do 110 cent, and I, I told them square, because I like square. And they're like... 110 centimeters by 110 centimeters and I was like that's what I want that's exactly what I want and then I sent them the picture that I wanted and it was off by there but you can't seem to find me um, and then so the lady she sent me a picture of this um, map kind of thing and on the side of the picture, it says San Francisco. Okay. I'm not very good at geology, uh, geography, but I believe San Francisco is on the coast. And I live in the mi middle of the United States. I live in Kansas. I am the most central you can get. Well, I think we're not the middle, but you know what I mean. We're pretty dang close to the middle of the United States. I'm as central as you can get. I don't live on either coast. So when she sent me a picture of San Francisco, I'm like, you guys aren't even in the right state. So she sent me a picture of um, my, and I was very nice. I, I, I just said, San Francisco's in California. I don't live in California. So I, I mean, I was very nice about it, but it was just kind of frustrating. So she sent me a picture of my order sheet. Um, and it says, uh, it, it says, Oh, I'm just going to tell you my address. It says Alma, uh, Kansas. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, um, so I was like, I don't, I don't understand why we're in California when it says Kansas. So, um, I finally, I GPSed my location, um, and I sent it to her. Well, I zoomed out a little bit and then I sent it to her. And then she asked me, she's just like, well, is it the city in the picture or is it the city on your order sheet? And I explained to her, my mailing address and my physical address are two different things. <coughs> Excuse me. So I explained to her, I'm like, it's kind of like having a um, P.O. box. You, you got your physical address, which is 123 ABC Lane. And then you got your mailing address, which is one two uh, p.o box one two three i mean you don't live in a p.o box but that's where you receive your mail at i was like it's kind of like having a p.o box but i have a rural mailbox um and i don't remember which one that we had so much problems with but i did state on my my channel when we did i was like i don't understand i've had diamond paintings delivered here before and, and that's the thing you think after dealing with this one time you wouldn't have to deal with it again but obviously, yeah. Um, I think it's just my big pieces. I don't think my big pieces come USPS. I really don't. Because maybe my Christmas piece? I don't remember. I would have to go back through my videos and check it out. Because I remember having this problem with before. And I did state it on my, my channel, so I know that I told you guys. I tell you guys everything that goes on with my diamond paintings here. Um, well, most of everything that goes on. <clears throat> but, nope. Just living life, breathing air, doing what I do best. Um, I've been keeping my head down lately. I've been, been really stressed out. Um, well, kind of really stressed out, just everything that's going on in life. Life is stressful by itself. Um, yeah, I mean, just everything. Um, I got a new hairstyle though. Um, I got a perm 
and let me tell you, I'm rocking this thing. Um, the first, <laughs> so I don't, I don't do the 24 hours and then you can wash your, I mean the 48 hours and then you can wash your hair. I do the 72 hours and then I wash my hair to make sure that it's really in there, in there. And, um, the first 72 hours, it was just a nightmare. I mean, literally, I'm sitting there and I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Because, I mean, it, it was just a mess because you can't wash it. You, I mean, you can pick it out a little bit, but nothing like mat major. And so I, I just threw it up in a ponytail. And when I say I threw it up in a ponytail, I put it on top of my head. And I asked my, my uh, mother, I was like, I'm pulling this off and she's like, well, people wear their hair like that all the time, so can't see why not. <laughs> and I mean, it was just a big ball on top of my head. And because I have, <laughs> I say medium length hair. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I say medium length hair, but I actually have really, really long hair. Um... Well, not really, really long hair. Um, it goes past my shoulders. Um, which a lot of people say medium length hair doesn't go past your shoulders. I mean, uh, yeah, medium length hair doesn't go past your shoulders. So you got the short hair that's like from your, from your scalp down to the bottom of your cheek. And then from your cheek to your the top of your shoulders you got medium and anything past your shoulders is long hair um and that was from a, a beautician um because i uh i was like she's like you got really long very nice hair and i did i do kind of um i still have long hair but it's not as nice and um, when you get a perm it kind of fries it but it's okay um, it had been a, over a year since I did anything with my hair. And so it's been over a year. And so I colored my hair, like I said, a little over a year ago. And I did, um, blonde. But, like, my, my low lights were my natural hair color. So I still had the brown in my hair. It's just they were more like highlights or low lights than anything so um it had been a year and so my hair started my hair has grown out a lot i mean a lot lot so it started kind of looking like an ombre in a roundabout way i mean there wasn't a harsh there wasn't a harsh line but it's a line noticeable enough that you can tell that it had grown um so now that I have the perm in, because um, my hair is curly, that line does not look that bad at all. It kind of looks like my hair was supposed to be an ombre, and it looks really good. Because my biggest thing is I just didn't want to dye it again, but it's too high up for me to cut it. Because I do not, I mean, I, I live with short hair, and some people are really good with short hair. Um, I love taking care of my short hair. Um, <laughs> so much easier to take care of. But I don't want short hair again. Um, I, I just want long, luscious, beautiful hair. Um, so that's what I got. Um... So that's my new hairstyle. Um, what else to say? Oh yeah. Um, so as you guys see, I have my one drill placer and then I have my three drill placer. Um, I use my three drill placer a lot. Um, I do not get my six and my nine out because those ones just don't. I can't get them to line up in the tray right. And yes, I have like a big tray. I mean, my little itty bitty hand. 
Um, I have a big tray, but I just can't ever get them to line up the way that I want them. And then I have to count how many are spaces there are. And it's just easier to see if there's three or not. Um, so I do not use my, my sixes or my nines. I do have a lot of sixes and nines. If anybody wants some, just let me know and I can send you some. Um, I have a lot of drill pins too. So if you need drill pins, um, and a lot of people are buying the drill pins and making, um, well, I don't think they're buying. Well, I think you can buy 50 for like 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, or like $2. I don't know. I've never bought a drill pin. Um, I got this drill pin, I think my second ever moment. Um, and I've used it since. My first ever moment, it started to warp here in the center, like right here where my fingers are always at. Um, this one hasn't yet. Um, so, I mean, my, I mean, I got a grippy on both sides because I use this side as much as I use my old one drill placer. Um... So I have grippies on both sides of them because I use them both quite a bit. Um, I have mastered my three drill placer. Um, like I said, the six just doesn't line up right. And it, okay, it's really not a six drill placer. You can fit seven on the six. And you can fit seven like comfortably, not like, <laughs> not like, um, yeah, not like them all squished together and you got ones popping off the end. No, you can fit seven on the little loop thing because it goes like this. And you got one on this edge and you got one on this edge. I mean, they're very tight, but you want them tight to begin with. <coughs> um, I have been doing this for a little over a year. Um, my very first ones I got ripped off, majorly ripped off. Um, it was like buy three, get the fourth free, and each one of them were like 20 bucks each. And then they got here and they were like 20 by 20s, no joke. I was like, are you serious? Um, so I didn't buy another one for quite a while, um, just because I wasn't going to pay that much money for... <laughs> this little itty bitty thing I mean they're little 20 by 20s are small and a lot of people like doing them don't get me wrong they're good but the ones that I got they had a lot of detail and so I was like I really don't want to pay that much again then I watch <coughs> you... <coughs> hey you're fine you're oh. fine sorry guys most time he's really quiet. Um, but <coughs> what did I say? You're fine. Anyways, then I watched Kicking Cancer's butt and I asked her finally. I was like, where do you order your diamond paintings? Because she was getting big ones like I have now. <coughs> and I was like, where do you order those at? I was like, I would really like to get some bigger ones and everything. And so she told me, she's like, oh, well, I use AliExpress for my... <clears throat> and I was like, boss. <laughs> so I go on AliExpress and I, I doodle around and my wish list is massive. I mean, I tell you it's massive. Um, I really need to go through it and take out the ones that I don't want anymore. Because my wish list is from when I started. <coughs> and most of the time I just go on there and I'm like, I want a custom. Let's do a custom. I think I have more custom diamond paintings than I actually do diamond paintings. Like, I have more customs than ones that you just buy off of AliExpress. Um... I say that, and then the one I'm doing, I just bought off of AliExpress. It's not a custom. <coughs> Although, I like it. Um, but the one that I'm doing after this one, um, 
is a custom. Um, I am going to bring uh, my fireman picture in. And like I said, I have this little section and then I have this right here. I, you're kind of off screen here, but I get this little section over here. It's really not that much um, left. Let's see if I can turn it just a touch it this way without you falling. Yeah, so I got this little section. I mean, it's not much. Just enough. Um, but once I get done with the section I'm on, I can't win for losing. I turn you one way and then you don't want to go back. see me now but um, I'm gonna try an unboxing from this angle why did I get a drip three I'm looking over here I want to see this. Um, I'm gonna try an unboxing at this angle I'm gonna see if it's gonna be difficult because most of the time I push my um, light out of the way so it's not a blur for you guys <clears throat> but if I don't have my light, I mean, look at this. Turn my light off. It gets really dark. And I have my overhead light on. It's really dark. And it gets really dark really fast. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I can see all my simbers great. I really can. But I can't see my diamonds in my tray. I don't know which ones are upright. I don't know which ones are flipped over. So I have to have my light to give me more light on the scene. <coughs> so even when I do an unboxing I have to have more light so you guys can see I used to have a little light that worked perfect I mean do you remember that little light I loved that little light and it worked perfect but it stopped working um, and I don't know why um, I changed the light in it <clears throat> and that didn't work. Um, luckily the store that I got it from let me return it because I was like, I have no light that fits this. Um, and I just got store credit. Um, then I went and bought my big light from that same store. Um, <clears throat> I really wanted one that sat on the floor so it wasn't like, um, up in my face like this it just gave me light on the side of my room because I literally have one light for my entire room my room really needs like two um, and I thought about installing one but <coughs> there is a duck um, that comes down um, that's for like the heater and the cooling and everything like that. Well, this duck kind of makes it to where I don't have enough room to put a fan on one side of my room. So I can't buy like a big fan and put it up there. But I need a light that I can turn off because, um, the one that's over there. So there is a light over there. Um, it's just, it's one of those lights that if you, if the light burns out, you have to change the whole fixture and I, and the light has burned out. Let me put it that way. So I have changed the whole fixture. Um, and gotta be careful here. I got J's and check marks. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, but I don't like that light fixture to begin with because I cannot turn it off at night. Like, I, I would have to turn off my whole light system. So that means that I would have to turn off my fan. Um, so I get either boiling hot at night or freezing cold. One of the two. It depends on what it is outside. So, I mean, my fan is constantly going. Um, my my fan for my ceiling my ceiling fan there we go um, it's constantly blowing 
I don't, I think I've had that thing off maybe once or twice. Uh, no, no, I take that back. I turn it off every time I uh, sweep them off because it blows my dirt around. <laughs> Um, because I do have a, I have a big room, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Oh, some other good news. So, um, a lot of you know that I work for the fire department in my town. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's a volunteer fire department, but, um, we we do a lot uh being out in the country we do like a lot of fires like grass fires um stuff like that and a lot of people around here <clears throat> have board burning stoves too so i mean we we deal with a lot of fires believe it or not so i got offered um an opportunity of a lifetime um, so my mom <clears throat> has a friend that lives in Chicago, um, cause she's an over the road truck driver. So she, she has, she meets a lot of, a lot of people and she has a friend in Chicago, um, really sweet, sweet, sweet man. And, um, so this, this friend um, he is a chief, um, a chief firefighter in Chicago. Why did you deem? You don't even show me you have a Snapchat. I don't know why you didn't. Anyways, um, <coughs> he's a chief at one of the firehouses. And he told me, he's like, I can help you advance in your career if you'd like. I mean, I have to, I have to show him that I really want it and everything. And um, go to the fire academy <coughs> and um, get everything that I need, everything but my paramedics, because in the bigger cities, um, the firefighters in the bigger cities have their paramedic license. Um, like, so Chicago, um, a lot of those firefighters have paramedic. I mean, if you get into, like, the, the medium-sized towns, not the volunteers, the ones that still pay for it, like, um, I live, like, 30 miles from Topeka. They don't require your paramedic license. They just require to have your um, basic EMT. So <coughs> at the academy, they give you your basic EMT and stuff like that. And he said that if I want to, um, after I get out of the fire academy, um, I work for them for two years. And then they uh, will pay off my 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 loan because the fire academy um you can take a student loan out of yeah it would mean this country bumpkin girl um and i say that funny because um uh when i was in high school people called me bumpkin girl um because i was a country bumpkin um but this country girl has to go to the city. I'll be honest with you, I'm terrified. Um, I, I'm, I love being a firefighter and this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I can't stress that enough um, because this doesn't come around every day. You don't get this opportunity every day. This is like once in a lifetime, never going to come around again. I mean, it's take it or leave it. Um, I thought on it for a few months. It took me a while to come to my decision. And it wasn't because like I didn't want to go. It was because <clears throat> I am a small town girl. And um, 
I don't know how well, if at all, I am going to take Chicago. I am, it's not like I'm scared, but I am at the same time. Like, I am scared just for the simple fact that um, Chicago is massive. It really is. It, it It's massive. And not only is it just a massive city, um, the crime is really high. And this guy, I know he is not going to let anything happen to me. Um, like... On purpose he's not gonna put me in a situation to where I'm in this ghetto area and he just drops me off kind of thing I know he's not going to put me in that situation on purpose but I mean I can't be around him 24 7 seven days a week um, so I do have to go out and um, explore on my own every now and again because I mean he has to work I will probably work um, the likelihoods of us working the same shift is probably slim to none. Um, even if it, even if we do, I mean, there, there are things that we have to do as, as people that work. <coughs> and yes, um, I have lived in pretty big cities, um, but I've always been, um, protected. Um, like, I lived in Oceanside, California. And when I say I lived in Oceanside, California, I mean I lived on the military base. <coughs> <coughs> the most thing... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my water is outside, too. Really? Really. Um, yeah, I brought a case of water, and then I didn't bring it in. Look at me. Um, <clears throat> but my... I mean, I lived on a military base. And the most thing that I had to worry about on a military base was wildfires. That's all. Um, just wildfires. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I didn't have to worry about much. What is my time sitting at? It's sitting at 32. Um, so yeah, um, I, I thought about it, um, I, I wish I thought about it sooner just because of the simple fact that they had a, at the fire academy, they have one going through in September, uh, February, and then the next one ain't until September. So, um, I'm going to wait until September now. <clears throat> I'm going to get a, a little part-time job at the subway down the way, down the way, about 15 miles away. Um, so I'm going to get a part-time job there and save up some money. And then I'm going to... Um, when they have a open enrollment time, which will probably be close to the time, I am going to, um, <clears throat> I am going to apply and take care of everything from there. Um, so, yeah. There's a, a lot going on, um, but I'm about ready to take that offer. So, um, I wanted to, wow, I got sidetracked. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not good at these whipping chats, just so everybody knows. I never know what to say. I kind of just ramble on, and I guess that's kind of the point. I don't know. Um, but like I was saying, um, Probably in September, um, my videos are going to slow down um, just because 
I am going to try to find a part-time job up there and I'm going to work part-time up there and then um, go to the fire academy on the days that I'm supposed to be there. Um, so that will, that will take a lot of my, my time. Um, And, I, and yeah, I don't have to work, <clears throat> but being in a new state so far from home to where it's not just like an hour or two drive, it's like 11 hours. So it's not like I can go home for the weekend or the day or whatever. Um, oh, well, I could, but it'd be pointless. Um, cause I'd get there and then turn around and have to come back. Um, so since I can't go for like the weekend or the day or whatever, come home and just relax and everything. <clears throat> um, I think a part-time job to keep me, me one busy. So I don't realize that I'm in, um, a different state. Two, it gives me somebody to talk to, friends. I mean... <clears throat> Most people meet their friends in high school and they drag on to their, their adulthood and then you start meeting friends through work and colleagues and stuff like that. I mean, I have a lot of work friends. I really do. Um, just from the part-time jobs that I've had, um, I just have a lot of work friends, um, more than I do like high school friends. Um... So, there's that. Just being able to meet new people. But it also gets me out. It gets me out. It gets me aware of my surroundings. Um, and then those people can tell you, you your, your work friends, can tell you, hey, don't go to this part of town. Don't go to this part of town. Um, this part of town is pretty dangerous. Keep your head up or, um, don't, don't do this or that. Um, because it's not that I'm not aware of, um, I mean, you can kind of tell when you are in a bad part of town, when you really are not supposed to be there. Um, the only people that should be there are the people that live there kind of thing. And, um, I'm aware of that. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Um, but <laughs> when you're in a foreign state, you're not aware of that until you're already in that situation. Um, and, and I know I, I, I don't, I'm not stereotyping, so don't take this the wrong way, but because I mean, I am the small little petite girl. I, I'm not a big girl. I am itty bitty. And once again, I'm not, not stereotyping. So don't take it the wrong way. <clears throat> so don't take it the wrong way, but I am easy. And, and I say this because I've seen it. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it. But I am just so easy to just snatch up, throw in the back of the van, and then make me work as a sex slave. I mean, yeah, I hear it more with, like, little children. Not little, but, like, teenagers than 20-something-year-olds. And, yeah, my family would notice I was missing. Um, I'm not, like... Um, it's not like I'm a loner, but, um, it would take a day or two before my family would realize I was missing. Cause I don't talk to my mother every single day. Um, but it would take a few days and I think I would literally, um, I don't know how people come back from that. I really don't. Um, and you might say that I'm conceited. I'm thinking that a sex drive person would take me um but 
I, I'm an easy target. I'm little, little bitty. And um, I am a little conceited because I am a woman. Um, I know what women, I know what sex, I know what they're looking for. And I have it. I am not too chunky. I'm a medium built. I don't really have a lot of chunk on my front. I have massive boobs. I mean, I am sitting at a triple D in boobs. So I have massive boobs. I have a nice size, but it's not humongous, but it's not itty bitty either. Um, it's normal. Um, so I do have a lump there, but it's not like it's like broom broom. Um, my mom jokes with me all the time because she has a flat butt and I do I, I do have a butt uncle dunk compared to her. Um but I'm I'm terrified because I have no basic skills to defend me. None. Zero results. And in Chicago, it's not like I can take my gun with me because I have to go through... There's a lot of loops that you have to jump through in Chicago to have a gun. Legally, to have a gun. Um, I, I think since it is in um, September... I'm gonna see what it, it like get some self defense classes in before I go. Just in case. I mean, I am one of those people that, yes, I look on the bright side of things, but I also need to look at the dull side of things. What if something happens to me? What if, like, God forbid something would happen, but what if something did? I need a way to defend myself just a little bit. Enough to run away. Um, I don't want to hurt nobody. I've never... I mean, other than getting into just a normal fight at school with another girl. Um, I, I don't fight. So what I'm doing right now. This one is pretty full. I mean, I don't know if you can... This one's pretty full. So when it's really full like this, which I have a few, um, that's really, really full. Um, if I just dump it, I will have diamonds all over the sticky part of my diamond painting. Figured that out the hard way. Um, so I put this here to catch any one away diamonds because it is so full. The ones that are a little less, not as full, um, I'll turn those sideways for you guys. I mean, it's pretty full. Um, I mean, it has a lot in it. I mean, it's it's to the brim. There's a little space between. Um, so it's pretty full. Um, but ones like this, which I, I won't use this color anymore. Um, I mean, you can see through it. See the bottom. I mean, a little, very little. Um... These ones I wouldn't use this little tray for because I can just put the whole spout in here and just sh -sh -sh -sh, call it good. Um, but the big one, the big full ones I do. But yes. So that is that. Um, like I said, I really don't know what to talk about on these. Um, yeah, we only got through one color. But when I talk, I get distracted really easily. Um... But if you want to see longer ones, just let me know. I will do my best. Let me know what you want to know about me, and I will write this stuff down. And we can actually have um, like a question air thing. Um, I am pretty much an open panel. I mean, you just tell me what you want to know. Um, Nothing about my life is really exciting. Um, well, I say that, but a lot of people say, well, your life is more exciting than my life. And I'm like, I just live life. Um, what the heck? I am working on L. Wow, got distracted again. Squirrel. Um, but I didn't, I didn't do a lot of whipping chats because the whipping chat that I do have um, doesn't have very many people. Not a lot of people watched it. They watched my unboxings more than anything. Um, but I'm just lost. I, I, I mean, for everybody else, their whipping chats just go so 
smooth and they they have something to talk about they have something and i just ramble i don't know what to talk about to be honest with you guys um but i did get a request for whipping chat so this is me whipping chatting with you guys um i'm probably gonna turn you guys off get up and no um get off here and um go outside and get my water because i keep coughing and i need to wash it down with some water but like i said i bought the case and then i left that in the car um but yeah I don't know what else to say, but thank you guys so much if you watch. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I have, I do have two diamond paintings in the mail. I have my big custom and then I have um, the winner's picture, which I posted the winner in the last two videos that I posted. Um, so if you didn't catch that, well, actually i the winner contacted me so i i have her information now so i'm just waiting for the the picture to come in i'm waiting for my custom to come in um and then we will go from there anyways talk to you guys later bye